So next up is sepia. This can be acne that comes on after hormonal birth control pills, like what happened in my case. You know, I said I didn't have acne as a teenager. And then I had acne in my early 20s, and that was after birth control. This is hormonal adult acne, acne before the period, acne after coming off the pill, acne after pregnancy. That was all, that was all my case. This can calm excess androgen hormones. They tend to have a liking for salty pickled flavors. They really like cake, <laughs> usually worse in the afternoons and before a period. So better for exercise and dancing, acne that's worse before the period. Periods can be irregular, having a bearing down pain extending to the back and legs. And PMS might include acne, headache, constipation, being really cold, tired, irritable, intense, dislike of loved ones. So your family, you're suddenly like, I cannot stand you, get away from me. Ambitious, intellectual, these women are. And um, especially those who have not yet become a mother. Um, after they've been a mother, they're often exhausted, drained by work or family, brain fog, low libido, weepy and unhappy, may feel something dreadful is going to happen, despair, may have bottled up anger and resentment that leads to sarcasm. We like I like to do sepia 6C twice per day to start. You might just do once per day. Maybe you just do sepia 6C once per day to see how you do. Now, I know if you've listened to past podcasts of mine, you may have heard Sepia Sunday. So where we did 200 C once per week, that's still fine. It's it's not that that's wrong. I'm seeing more benefit with the 6 C once or twice per day to start. And then we can go up to 30 if we need. And then we can go up to 200 if we need. Um, Nux Vomica is the next remedy we're going to talk about. It may not be one that you immediately think of for acne but it is used a lot for acne in young adults, especially with unhealthy lifestyles. Too much alcohol, too much fatty junk food, too much cheese, which is hilarious because I feel like all of us, I mean, who doesn't love cheese? We didn't get enough cheese. But next Vomica does, I mean, that's a good overindulgence remedy. So maybe college years where you're like a little crazy. They often, if they're not in that stage of life, they still may have a history of um, overuse of alcohol, medication, drugs, um, et cetera. The noxomica person may like savory, spicy, or stimulating food. They're much worse for being chilly. They don't like being cold or drafts. So much better for warmth and warm drinks. Um, noxomica acne can include boils and abscesses. The noxomica girl may have periods that are irregular, too early, too long prolonged periods, painful periods. They often have a history of constipation or acidity, um, hemorrhoids, IBS, allergies. A next vomica person can be really emotional. So very impatient, very overactive mind, very irritable, um, oversensitive to noises, smells, and light. They can be fault finding and easily angered. And um, also can be ambitious and competitive, So very fastidious people can often use Nux Vomica 6C daily as a detox to start maybe three to four weeks. It is a good liver support remedy, which if you listen to our liver podcast, we did talk about Nux Vomica. If you do Nux Vomica 6C daily, we don't recommend giving Chelidonium or Berberis alongside that. So maybe just choose one and try it. Um, or like the other ones, maybe start there and you can move up. You can move to a 30 or a 200 later. No sodes that may fit well with the Noxomica person or fit this picture well are met, um, metarinum carcinosin, just like um, Melissa said up at the top. So if that's the case, make sure you go look in the Materia Medica and make sure it fits really well. 